All right, today we're gonna show you the top five reasons we love this chop saw. All right, so today we got the Evolution Chop Saw here, and I tell you what, we've been using it for a couple weeks, and I love it. It's been working like a charm. I've cut some half-inch flat stock the other day. I cut some four-inch round tubing. No problem. Nice straight cuts every single time. It's easy to set up and cuts nice, perfect straight cuts every time. Love that. So today we're working on a little side project. Yep. And we got a sandbagging machine here from the county. They used to fill their... Uh, sandbags during hurricane season we get a lot of flooding up here so for the community kind of thing but uh we got to make a little table for it so yeah we thought this would be a good opportunity i mean it's not volkswagen related necessarily but sometimes you'll need to do this same type of thing to build a, a welding table or a mm -hmm. workbench or something so check it out All right, we're gonna show you the top five things we love the most about this saw. And my favorite thing about this saw is how easy it is to set up angles on it. And we're gonna just do 45s and uh, 90 degree cuts here. But if you take a speed square with this and you need to set it at a 90, you can just put it right up against your slide here, hold that thing up there, line it in, lock it down. You don't need any tools for that, done deal. But we need to put 45s so though. Same sp speed square here. Put in there like that, hold it up, clamp it in, boom, it's ready to go. Number two, the V-Block. All right, so this one's pretty cool. This is an, a little angle block that they've thrown in. And what it does, if you have round stock or square stock, you kind of put it right in here. Just slide it on the end there. Put it up to your piece. Lock it down. Now it's, it's actually touching on three different sides and holds it in there nice and solid. Works real good. Number four, thick wall tubing. Okay, we got some of this uh, inch and a half quarter inch wall box tubing we use for our hydraulics and the buses for uh this stuff is a pain to cut i cut this on the bandsaw and i have to cut 45 degree angles and there's another angle we have to cut and it's just very very time consuming so today we get to try it on this uh evolution here see how this goes Like butter. Number five, cuts all thread. All right, so check this one out. This thing cuts so smooth, you can actually cut all thread and, and put your nut right on there. Watch this. Boo! Love it. Number five. Point one, middle stays cool. So with this saw, I mean, you could go out and get a cold saw and spend thousands of dollars. Uh, problem with that is they, a lot of times they use oil, and if you're TIG welding, that sucks. Yep, I clean up the water, you gotta have water, that evaporates. They're messy. And just deal with all that. But this saw will actually cut just as cool, or and, close. And it's portable. Check it out. Cut it. One degrees. You can actually hold that. That's incredible. 
mean, I would, I would lick it. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. That's, yeah. Number five point two. Precise cuts. All right, you ever need a little shim or a little spacer and you can't find one anywhere? Well, with the saw, you can actually make one. Number five. No, wait, you guys said there were only five. Yeah, but they said just to keep on going with it. Okay, we'll keep on going with it. 5.3 notch tubing. All right, another great thing a chop saw is good for, and especially this one, is uh, you can notch tubing with it. So if you're building a roof rack for your bus or a little brush guard or whatever you're doing, real easy to do, especially on this one. Just chop your tube like this. Just cut a 45, spin it over. Kind of cut another 45. Ain't gotta be exact. Then you hand it to your little sander guy. He'll sand it for you. There you go. Perfect coat. 5.4 cuts the big stuff. All right, so it's safe to say there's not a lot about this saw that we don't love. Yes. The precision cutting is unbelievable. I mean, cutting the little spacers and even, you know, big stuff. No problem, it's nice straight. and straight. All the way down, it doesn't curve like the chop saw. It's just... It doesn't spark like the chop saw. That's, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's the best thing. Terrific. And cutting your stuff for, uh, that you put in the jig there. Yeah, it fits perfect on all four sides. It's, it's so smooth. It took me like 20 minutes to cut two sets, which would take me Two hours easy yeah. the other way. Yeah, you know, do it by hand on the bandsaw, so you can't get them precise no, like that. It's difficult. It's Very even difficult. so, it's even going to save you time when you go to weld it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. For sure. Now, Evolution sent us this saw, but they said just do whatever you want to do. Tell us how you feel about it. Be honest. You know, they didn't pay us to say anything, and I, I love it. I've had a lot of chop saws in the past, and this thing, I'm, I'm actually excited to use it. Exactly. Yeah. So, it makes things so, so nice. Yep. And if you want to use one, you can get one if you follow the link in the description below. You want one. <laughs> you need one. <laughs> yes. Bonus footage. <clears throat> I mean... Bonus footage. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's the third one now, so... <laughs> I'm, st I'm stuttering. <laughs> I have a line. Yeah. First cut. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. First cut. Here we go. Do it again. Yeah, but a bit, but a bit. <laughs>